Hey everybody, it's Shamika coming to you again with a video just for my do-it-yourselfers. And my do-it-yourselfers, I mean individuals who choose to fix their credit without hiring any company. They want to do this on their own. They have the initiative, the time, and the wherewithal to fix it. Well, I'm going to give you guys an extra aid. Here are five things that you forget when disputing your credit. Number one, you need to know your state statute of limitations. Very important. You need to know how long a creditor can legally come after you for a debt. So you definitely need to know your state's statute of limitations. The video is below a video that I made explaining the difference between state statute of limitations and the credit reporting statute of limitations. Okay. So that leads me to number two, the credit reporting statute of limitations. Most of us already know seven years is that general number uh, for how long items can stay on your credit. And well, yes, but no. Yes, generally, but no, when it comes to tax liens or public records, items like bankruptcies and things like that, they stay for anywhere from 10 years. Some can stay 15 years. It really depends, but public records actually stay longer. So you also need to know your um, the credit reporting statute of limitations for the different items that you're disputing, for, excuse me, that you're disputing, okay? The next thing you need is proof. I don't know how many times I've had individuals dispute their credit and they will not send in proof. Guys, you must send in a social security card. It's usually the easiest thing to send in your social and a driver's license. The reason why, because those are government issued IDs. I don't have anything against sending in utility bills. Uh, you know, I've seen where they ask for, if you could send in a, a first page of the bank statement, something that has a name and address, and there's nothing wrong with that. But we want to not let these credit bureaus stall. And that is exactly what they do. When they send you something back saying, we can't read your driver's license or we can't read your social security card and it's a clear copy, they're stalling for more time. So make sure that you send in good proof. And I always say use your government issued ID, whether that's a passport, driver's license, a social security card or an ID card if you don't have your driver's license. Send those in clear copies, please. You definitely need to make sure you have your proof because you need to make sure that they're not turning you away for an address. They're not turning you away for your name being spelled wrong. Or, hey, uh, they're saying we don't have a file on you. Well, that could be something as simple as a social security number makes up. So you definitely want to send in proof. Number four, you want to make sure that if you're disputing something on your credit, you need to know if you're disputing it based off of something from the dispute codes list. Or is this item being disputed because of identity theft? When things are disputed, uh, for identity theft, it is a different process. And when you dispute things due to identity theft, their response is different also. Now, I'm going to leave a link to a video below that's going to tell you the difference between delete and remove. Um, but the reason I selected this as one of the items that you need to know is because if you disputed an item for identity theft and it was just deleted, well... That's incorrect. That item needs to be removed. And if you want to know why, watch my video below. So that is um, something you want to keep in mind. And the last thing, and I mentioned it just in my my um, in my number four, but the dispute codes. Um, I have to keep saying this over and over, but if you're going to work with a company, and that company being these credit bureaus and the creditors, and if they already have their own language which is a dispute codes list. It's a, it's a real list. It's like over a hundred codes that they use to talk to each other through the e-Oscar system. So why does that matter to you? It matters to you because when you're disputing items on your credit, you want to use the same language that they do. Why go in speaking Chinese if they're speaking Mandarin? Let's keep it all together all equal, um, a nice, easy flow. Use those dispute codes. The dispute codes list is below um, when you're disputing so that you don't have any 
miscommunication. You're using the same reasons that they have, that they have to use legally because that's the rules that they set up. So I'm going to go through that one more time. I know I talk fast, guys, but here goes the five things you need to know. And if you don't know, this is probably why you're not successful in disputing. You need to know your state's statute of limitations. You need to know the credit um, excuse me, the credit reporting statute of limitations. You need to make sure you send in proof, good, clear proof. Preferred is government issue, which would be, like I said again, um, ID, driver's license, passport, social security card. Those are what you want to send in as proof. You also want to determine if you're disputing something for identity theft reasons or if you're disputing it normally because something is incorrect. Um, the difference in the response makes the determination of how that credit bureau looked at your dispute. So again, if something is being disputed due to identity theft, those items should not be deleted. They should be removed from your credit and removed means that they will not put it back on there again. Now, again, I go into more depth into my videos so make sure you look below. And then number five, your dispute codes. Definitely, definitely need to know, speak the language that they speak. So, I have put a list of everything below. They give you some information on statute of limitations where you can find out the credit reporting statute of limitations, which is, which is going to be a part of the Fair uh, Credit Reporting Act. Um, I don't really need to give you guys any information on proof. I'm saying it again. A government issue, government issued IDs, uh, government issued identification is exactly what you want to use. And last but not least, your dispute codes. So if you are an individual who are, who is fixing your own credit not using anybody to help you, and you need to know why you're not being successful. Those five reasons are probably why you're not being successful. Brush up, learn as much information as you can about, especially the Fair Credit Reporting Act and your state statute of limitations. They're very important. And actually, when you receive your um, credit reports in the mail, if you notice, there's always those extra couple pages that most people never really read. But it already has your state statute of limitations information on, if I'm not believing, the second or third page that will tell you how many years they can legally come after you. The credit bureaus already give you this information, but they know we're probably not interested because the only thing we're looking for on their credit report is what's right and what's wrong. And nobody else is reading anything else. So you guys make sure you pay attention to those things. It's very important. So I'm going to go through those five things one more time. Your state statute of limitations, credit reporting statute of limitations. You need to make sure you provide a good, good proof of your government issued um, IDs or identification so that you can send it in with the mail. You need to make sure you know um, if the item is going to be disputed for identity theft or not so that you can make sure the end result is the way that you want it to be, which is to be removed, not deleted. And lastly, your dispute codes. All right. So I hope that I helped you guys out. And again, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Please, if you have any questions, inbox me or leave them below. And I can make great videos that will um, help you in the future. So I hope I've been helpful to you. Thank you so much. This is Shamika. Take care. Bye.